Hi, it's the Wealthy Expat here. A lot of my clients are worth around the $10 million mark, anywhere from 5 million all the way up to 20 million. Around that mark, most of my clients fall within that net worth. In this video, let's look at what I recommend most of my clients that are looking to lower their taxes, get a second citizenship, potentially a second residence all over the world, what you should look at at that level of net worth that you can't just throw one or two million at some password program Let's look at it step by step to your particular situation. Let's go. All right, the first thing when it comes to taxes, where I would set up if I'm worth around 10 million, 12 million US dollars. There are certainly some places that you can set up like Singapore, for example, that might cost you 2.5 million, 3 million US dollars. Other places like Cayman Islands that might cost you 2 million or 2.5 million US dollars. That might be a little bit too much of your net worth to give out for a particular program. So the place that I naturally recommend for people worth around $10 million is Dubai. You spend about 25, 30,000 US dollars and you're pretty much all set up to start lowering your taxes. Obviously you need to make sure that your tax residence country where you currently are, if you're in Canada or if you're in Australia, or for example, in the US, you're looking to renounce your US citizenship at that level of net worth. There's probably going to be some sort of exit tax specifically, or some deemed disposition tax where you actually need to pay taxes on your level of net worth. So if you're worth 10 million US dollars, you might pay around two or 3 million US dollars in taxes just to get out of your country. I wouldn't really worry about a wealth tax if you're at this level of net worth. For example, people that are worth 100 million, 200 million, potentially 600 or 800 million dollars are definitely afraid of a wealth tax, a 1%, 2% per year wealth tax. At 10 million, I probably wouldn't worry that much, but I would worry about my exit tax. You want to make sure that you get out of your home country, specifically when there are, for example, crashes in the stock market, crashes in the cryptocurrency market. You get out of your current country and then you go set up somewhere else like Dubai. The process takes you 30, 45 days. I've talked about it many times and you can check the videos in the description on how to set up properly in Dubai. At your level of net worth, there's going to be thousands and hundreds of thousands of people in Dubai that are moving constantly to Dubai at that level of net worth where you can go buy a Lamborghini or buy a $1 million property or so on. That's taxes. Now, when it comes to property purchases, what I would probably do, I would get a golden visa somewhere around the world. If you're from Europe, then probably you're not looking at a European golden visa, but you probably want to invest in property somewhere else in the world. So for example, you might get a flat in Dubai for around 500,000, 300,000 US dollars. And that might be something that will be there just for the actual taxes as well as having the property. So for example, if your country of current tax residence applies a certain restriction that you must have a home somewhere else in the world, let's say you're coming from Belgium or France or other high tax countries in Europe, and you want to have a home somewhere else like in Dubai, then you want to buy that property in Dubai, have that home there and prove to your tax country that, hey, I'm actually moving to Dubai. I have a home and here's my tenancy contract or here is my deed, my title deed of this property with my name on it, my passport number and everything. And you have that ownership of that property. That's definitely something I recommend if you're looking to buy some property in a place that will give you citizenship at some point. Let's say you're from Australia or Canada or the United States and you're looking at a potential second passport that is at the same level level of passport quality of your current passport, then I would probably go for the Portuguese golden visa. If you're worth 10 million US dollars spending half a million on a Portuguese residence just to get that passport in five years and also have that property in Portugal and not have to spend that much time per year, just seven to 14 days, definitely something you would look at. If you're looking for a much faster program, maybe you could consider Bulgaria citizenship by investment, which is around $600,000 and then another $500,000, $600,000 in order to get the password in two years. I probably wouldn't do the Malta option just because if you're worth $10 million, you're probably not going to spend 1.1, $1.2 million in getting the passport. And that's actually a donation. So you are really spending that million dollars, not investing it like in the case of Portugal or Bulgaria. So I would probably look at a country that gives you citizenship, gives you residence for an investment. I would recoup that investment after a couple of years. In the case of Portugal, be five or six years. And then you're not giving away 10% of your net worth for no reason just to get a passport or just to get a certain program that you might not really need. So that's the first thing I would do, the taxes, the property, and then the citizenship as well. If you're a US citizen, I would probably go for a Caribbean citizenship program just because they are pretty fast. You can get them in six months and you can also renounce your US citizenship. If you're looking to renounce your US citizenship and you're worth 10 million US dollars, you will pay an exit tax because you're worth more than the $2 million threshold, but you can certainly reduce that with certain gifting strategies. If you talk to a proper accountant, make sure to book a one-on-one -on -one call with us. We can connect you to an accountant and a tax lawyer in the US or anywhere around the world that can help you exit the tax system properly without paying that much exit tax. And you can obviously get 
one of the Caribbean citizenships, renounce your US citizenship, and then work towards, let's say, a Portugal passport, or maybe a Bulgarian or Maltese passport. Later on, just living in one particular country, you can work towards their passport. Other strategies that I recommend clients that are worth around 10, 20 million US dollars is to build really strong ties to the country where they're moving to, or they're creating a base for tax residence purposes. If you're worth $100 million, like that video that I made, you need way more ties way more stronger economic substance. But if you're worth 10 million, you're still a target. You're still a multi-millionaire. So they definitely are going to look at you as a person to get some tax money, maybe not 50 million, but maybe 5 million. So you also wanna get yourself an office in Dubai, potentially, let's say you're worth $10 million, a $3,000, $5,000 a year office isn't such a big deal just to protect yourself even more from taxes. So you might have that residence in Dubai, a home that you buy in Dubai, plus the office that you have, maybe hire one or two people, is definitely gonna be very beneficial to you. What you might also consider is other programs around the world. So for example, the Republic of Georgia, you might buy a property, get a residence permit that way, or permanent residence, the Thai elite visa for about 20, $25,000, you can get a really good residence permit, or other countries that are more off the radar, like Ecuador, for example, you might deposit $40,000 into an Equatorian fund or an Equatorian credit union, and then you can get residence in Ecuador, and then have that as just a plan B, or just an an extra layer of security in case you want to go somewhere else or you just want to escape a particular country not for bad reasons not for basically crime or anything it's just as a way to have that plan b in order things get bad enough in the country where you're setting up maybe dubai you don't like it that much maybe you want to find another option then that's definitely something if you're worth 10 million us dollars you want to go and have that extra option that doesn't cost you let's say a million or 2.5 million in the case of cayman islands but just cost you maybe 50k or 100 000 to get that option another program that i would definitely recommend specifically if you have a very strong passport that you're not looking to renounce and you're just looking to add on another passport that doesn't really cost you that much doesn't really bring you that much hassle and you can get it really quickly it might be the turkish citizenship by investment i was talking to some investors here that have really good passwords and they just wanted to add another really good password and they bought property in turkey that looks absolutely beautiful now the prices are going up from a quarter million all the way up to 400,000 us dollars but it's still about four percent of your net worth at this point so you can definitely invest into a property in turkey and sell it after three years and then get the password in about five months even three months you can get the citizenship and you can travel to other countries that might be outside of the scope of your current passport. Turkey doesn't have access to a lot of countries like for example the Schengen area or the US or Canada for sure but you do have access to the western world a lot of parts that you might be interested in visiting or you have a longer access to some parts of the world that you might be interested in going or you just might be interested in spending time in Turkey. I'm getting a lot of clients that want to spend time in this part of the world so that's definitely something that you might want to look at that is not that much of your net worth is we're not talking 10 percent 20 percent and you do recoup it after a couple of years. The last thing I would mention that I recommend so my clients worth around 10, maybe even 20 million US dollars is look at countries that have, I wouldn't say unofficial, but unstructured programs. So for example, North Macedonia might be one, Montenegro might be one, Seychelles might be one. Other programs that will offer citizenship or permanent residence or long-term residence for people that invest substantial amounts of money into the country, let's say 500,000 or a million. And for people that are worth around 10, 20 million, if you're willing to give up, let's say 10% of your net worth and invest it into something like property or an investment fund in another country that you might get citizenships that are not so popular. They're not really citizenships by investment. They're not really residences by investment, even though they are, but they're not as popular as other programs like the Portuguese Golden Visa. So for example, you might invest in a country like Latvia, for example, get a residence permit there or Estonia and get a residence permit or even Poland or other countries around the European Union or maybe all around the world, maybe Indonesia. I'm getting a lot of requests as well of people interested in investing in a Bali villa and actually getting a villa in Indonesia. So that might be an option for you. If you're worth $10 million, you can buy a villa for quarter million dollars and then get a residence potentially in Bali or Indonesia. So that's something that I would definitely recommend. Keep your eye open for other opportunities. I will keep sharing them with you here on the channel, but that's definitely something I recommend a lot of my clients. Keep your eyes open. You have a certain amount of net worth that does open up a lot of doors around the world. You don't have $200 million, but if you have $20 million, it definitely opens up a lot of opportunities all over the world for countries that you're interested in and you want to actually get residence and citizenship in those countries. If you're looking to put all these pieces together, make a plan, work with me directly and actually make this happen, move to Dubai, set up a residence somewhere else, get a second citizenship, actually put the steps properly so you know exactly what to do and have our help exactly through 
every single step of this process, you can click that link in the description, book a one-on-one -on -one call with me and the Wealthy Expat team. We'll see exactly what fits to your situation. We'll suggest a lot of different programs, a lot of different options around the world, and whichever one fits the best for you, we can then implement that and make that a reality. And also check out the video that comes up right here, what to do if you're worth $100 million. So here's for $10 million here for $100 million. So you can see what you do if you see your net worth growing over the years, if you're worth 10 million now, in a couple of years, you see yourself worth 100 million. That's definitely going to open up a lot of opportunities for you. Subscribe, hit that notification bell, that like button down below. I'm the Wealthy Expat. I'll see you on the next video.